Hello everyone, this is John White from Junior Street and I'm starting a series on HISIS training and this is your first lecture. Now, learning outcomes for this lecture is first, learn how to start HISIS, select components, define and select a fluid package, enter and re-enter the simulation environment, add and specify material streams. Now, simulation basis management, manager rather. As many well as use the concept of fluid package to contain all necessary information, which includes uh, um, equations used for flash calculations and calculating physical properties, all the equation of states, everything put together into a single entity referred to as the fluid package. Now, a case in ISIS is, um, is referred to as a simulation. And this opens in the simulation business manager. Now, before proceeding further, of course, you have to save your file. This is just an overview of what we'll go through in today's lecture. Learn how to save your files also. Now, this is a procedure of what to do to specify a uh, material stream. So, to specify components in a material stream before your simulation begins. Now, also, I will teach you how to select a fluid package. Then, the adding the material stream itself and all this. So, the first problem here is to create one material stream that contains only water with the following conditions. Conditions: the fluid package is pen grubbing, and the flow rate is 100 kg mole per hour. The pressure is one atmosphere. The vapor vapor fraction is 1.0 meaning it's entirely vapor now what is the temperature of the stream what is the temperature of the stream now let's go to uh isis software now this is the isis once you open i'm using the version 8.8 .8, as you can see here I'm using the version 8.8 .8. regardless of the version you're using you should be able to follow suit now you click on the new here to start a new um, simulation the last simulation I did was a, a canola waste water treatment that's why it's showing here subsequent simulations you will just show here so that you can open them directly so let's click on new so when you click on new this opens here you can see these tabs on the left the component list the fluid package then the simulation environment which is here okay we need to enter all this before we go into the simulation environment so double click on the fluid pack on the component list then you click on add to add components for example you can either search by the name or by the formula since we are adding on water let's say h2o h2o you can see it brings everything out so you can either click on it then click on add and it adds it to the left side okay or you can search for you can also remove it by clicking on it then pressing remove then you can also search for the water by the common name water you can also add it by double clicking now we've added water the only components we need for this particular simulation this is going to be the easiest simulation you are going to do in this series so let's move to our, our fluid package then you add now you can see different fluid package available as can I see it's 8 but we are using the pen so you just click on it and it okays it also you can rename the component list by right clicking and click on rename let's say this is um, lecture 1 enter it renames so you can click on your simulation to go to your simulation environment this is um, the object palette it contains all objects unit operations columns energy streams which is this red arrow and material streams which is the blue arrow also you can go back to your property tab 
you understand then come back to simulation environment continue your work so we are adding just a single material stream you click on the material stream once then come to your simulation environment here then click on it let's delete it click on it then press delete on your keyboard then delete or you can also double click on it so it brings out um, a tab that you can edit the stream so let's say first and foremost let's specify the stream name which is what i just click on with the one here which is the stream name then type water in now you can see isis will guide you through telling you that this the composition is unknown and also the the color of the material stream will be light blue but once it is fully defined it turns into dark blue something like a royal blue sort of so let's move to composition since it's a pure stream containing just water it's the composition of H2O, so the molar the moon fraction of water is going to be one so you press one click on enter and here you press ok and it's telling your unknown temperature but here in ICES you just need to specify three of all these components any three any reasonable three for example you can specify mass flow and molar flow at the same time because if you have specified mass flow it's used it uses that um, value to calculate the molar flow and vice versa so, so you are just going to select about three components that you provide the values and ISIS does the rest with the field packing now we are told that the flow rate is 100 kg over uh, so you click on this hundred enter okay you can see it calculates um the mass flow for you the steady ideal liquid volume flow now the temperature was given to be one atmosphere too, but you can see temperature here is in kilopascal so you press one then come here click on this drop down button then look for the unit you want to work with atmosphere it converts it to si which is the kilopascal then we are giving the vapor fraction to, to be one so click on one then enter calculate the rest so we can see that the temperature of the high seas the temperature of the stream rather is 99.6 degrees celsius calculated by water it means it's the stream that calculates it i hope we are clear so now let's move to the second part of the problem what is the temperature we've done that 99.6 so now the second part says repeat the procedure the procedure for one that's for the first problem by replacing pressure with temperature of 150 degrees celsius what is the pressure of the stream so let's go back to our simulation environment you should also know you can move this around anywhere just by dragging it move it to wherever you want so double click on it again to bring up the, um, the material stream tab for that particular stream then we are asked to replace the pressure so you come click on the pressure then click delete press delete on your keyboard rather so you can see it goes back to light blue and it's telling to specify the temperature the pressure or the unknown pressure and if you close this tab here you see that this is back to being light blue. So double click again, then specify the temperature. We're giving temperature of 150 degrees Celsius. So enter. Let's calculate the pressure to be 476 degrees Celsius and 476 kilopascal rather. So I think that's we, that'll be all for the simulation. And also we forgot to save our work. It's an integral part. I should have done it earlier. It's an integral part of this lecture so to save your work you just click on ctrl s press ctrl s on your keyboard then you navigate to wherever you want to save it to desktop let me create a new folder here let's say hi sis training let's say genius street hi sis training genius Free ISIS training. 
click on enter then open it you can save it let's name it a um, lecture lecture one and save so your work automatically saves so as you're working you need to be clicking on the control s once in a while just to save your work so i think that will be all for today thank you for listening i see you at the next class also you should practice and i really do hope you learned a lot today see you in the next lecture thank you very much